Hey, what's up, guys? This is Robot Raptor here with some more Claire. Um, I have some bad news. My audio recording from uh, live gameplay, I guess, um, got corrupted or something. Something happened, so I lost the audio for this episode. So this is post commentary. Something I did note, like figure out though, is how to do audio a little bit better. So hopefully this sounds better. Um, I don't know why you would have kept watching if the audio was so shitty in the last four episodes. But hopefully, if you made it this far, we're going to have a kick in quality. A kick up. So if I remember correctly, we were trying to get to the stairs. Those are stairs right there. Um, and it said that we needed to go find the doctor or somebody who um, would have the key. We're getting attacked. Oh, let's just run away from that. Um, to be honest with you guys, I watched, I've watched this like three times already. So I don't think anything's going to scare me, especially since I have already like played through it once and then watched it three more times. So, yeah, I'm just going to do my best to talk over it. We're heading back to the paintings because I realized we're not gonna like find his dead body anywhere. It's probably gonna be those paintings that uh that's where we're gonna find Dr. Mueller. I'm still surprised that the that water is still just levitating there. That's pretty cool. Pretty spooky. You're running the wrong way, Claire, but we found a battery. Nice. I don't know how to use the items in my inventory, so that's probably useless to me that battery but oh well you know it's nice to have and here we go here's the uh portraits so this one hospital namesake barbara mueller and then we got dr mueller himself and i'm trying to figure out okay so let's turn everyone except dr mueller because that's who the claire thought would have the key read his inscription or description, nothing. All right, let's leave it alone. Maybe flip it. No, flip it again. All right, let's flip it again. Maybe uh, Barbara, just by herself. No. All right. How about this? Both Barbara and Mueller. Here we go. It worked. So nice. I found the founder's key. Excellent. And then Claire says, "For anyone stuck here at night, Barbara." So Barbara left us. A note, I guess? Uh, let's see. No. She just said that, I guess. I don't know where but Claire read that from. Yeah, I don't know. I picked up something and said, Good luck, from Barbara. So. I guess the, uh... The hospital... I don't understand, like... Dr. Mueller... Dr. Mueller and Barbara... Have, like, a presence here... So this isn't in Claire's mind. And Dr. Mueller and Barbara are trying to help Claire. So they're not evil or anything. So it's not their fault that this stuff is happening to me. Like, there's no story that I can understand so far. And I don't believe this is a long game. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just hanging out in the bathroom, apparently. Let's uh, get back on track there, Claire. Yeah, so I don't know what the story of this game is. Like, what's the, uh, the plot line? It's like, I lost my mom, and that's the only, like, solid plot point, I could say. There is, like, flashbacks back and forth, but... Like, I'm not sure what, uh... Those have to do with anything. Ooh, spooky. Something's, uh, splashing around in the bathtub. Claire doesn't have anything to say about that, so we're just gonna keep going. And then we have to run by this thing. I figured out that's what like the run mechanic is for. You just have to run by those. Like you're not running from a monster, it's just to run to avoid attacks. I'm sp spastically checking my map, like Claire, you're going the right way. So now, I thought we were going to a stairwell, but apparently it brought us outside, which I thought was strange. Like Claire just like, let's go, let's hop the fence, get out of here. And I thought, yeah, again, I thought we were going to look for my mom. Are you alright? Annie? 
It's so quiet out here. Yeah, I'm scared too. I don't know what I'd do without you right now. See, saying that, that's a bad idea. They're going to take away the dog now. You're jinxing yourself there, Claire. But yeah, like I was saying before, I thought we were going up the stairs to go see my mom. But now we're just leaving. We're just going to another building. Like, that's what I'm talking about, how I don't understand the story. I don't know why I'm going to this other building. Like, what's Claire's motivation to go over here? And now I'm trying to jump the fence. I'm like, let's just leave. Like, we're not looking for my mom, obviously. I was like, let's just go. And now we found the morgue. And I was, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, is her mom going to be in the morgue? Is her mom going to be dead? Because that would be quite the th plot twist on the one plot point we have so far. Walking out of the room. Just walk out the door. Building B, I should take a look around. Why? Like, I don't understand why you want to do that, Claire. I think we should just look for your mom. But apparently she feels like exploring. So now there's no objective mark. I literally am just walking around aimlessly. There's a monster in there, so I'm not even going to bother going in there. Have you seen my wife, Katie, it says on the wall. Uh, can't say I have. Can't say I don't think I will. Um, I don't know why you left that message there. Like, unless you're hanging out here. Like, unless you come back periodically to check. I don't know how that would help you. And here, I was confused. I'm like, what am I even going into? I can't see. There's muck on the wall, and I'm just crawling into it. Like... Does anyone see anything there that I'm supposed to be interacting with? But Claire just phases into the wall. And then we come out the other side. We got some caffeine pills. Nice. Don't know how to use those. And then we phase back into the wall and we're on our way. Extraction room. What are they extracting in here? Ooh, there's a body on the bed. That's kind of creepy. Those red candles give off like a cool glow. I want some of those for like my house. And then look at this. There's a vent. There's a clearly open vent right there but I, that I can't go in. But I can just phase into the wall in like some random hallway. <sighs> Claire, you're not following your own rules. But it's fine. to run by this thing. Now that I know you can just run by him, they're not even that big of a threat. And I don't understand why the dog doesn't attack. Oh, crap, they can come in. They can go through doors. I didn't think that not only the big guy, tall boy, could. Just run by this thing. But now that I know it can follow me, I'm going to run a little bit more just to, just to make sure. And I'm trying to get to the big middle room, the morgue, but I'm just going to check everything. So I come in here and there's a sack of meat on the door frame. That's kind of random. It's like a prank when you open up the door and there's a <laughs> water bucket, but in here it's just, it's just some meat. And there's nothing in that room, so we're just going to keep moving. Oh, and there's sacks of something. I don't know what would be in the morgue. I don't know why there would be bags in the morgue. Almost as if they're body bags. I'm in the freezer now. I hope <laughs> I hope they don't lock the door behind me. You see that in a ton of movies where they like shut the door, freezer door, and the handle freezes off. There's some butterflies coming from these body bags. And Claire apparently wants to open them up. This is definitely not a good idea. You're in like a horror demon land. Do not open up, do not play with the body bags. But it turns out to be a butterfly. So that was a good call on Claire's part. I would never have done that. Even if there were black butterflies flying out of it, I would never 
in this situation just decided to go playing in the body bags. So now we're in like the incinerator room, I'm imagining. Uh, this is where like they put bodies, or maybe this is just storage, I'm not sure. But in Batman Arkham uh, Night, at the very beginning, they put the Joker in one and they like burned him. So that's the only, that's my only experience. And it kind of looks like that to me. So now we're just heading into a hole in the wall that turns into stairs magically. I thought that was weird. Where are we? Well, apparently we're in the coffee break room in the basement. If you see that sign. And the tall guy is there. So I'm just, I'm like, I'll get out of here. See you later. But I knew, like, that seems like where I'm supposed to go for the story. For, the, for what little plot there is, it seems like I'm supposed to go down there, so... And I notice I'm wasting a lot of battery, so I'm just going to use my, uh, f what the hell is that thing called? Fire. Oh god, I'm dumb. I'm going to use my, uh, match. Nope. What the hell is that? I'm drawing a blank, guys. I don't know what that thing's called. Um. Something. It's called something. So we have something locked from the other side. We go in here, and I turn into little girl Claire. So I'm thinking, the thing that was locked on the other side, I don't lock it in this area. I don't get a time to read that, because I'm running from this monster. But that was the clue to solve the puzzle, which I have a little bit of trouble figuring out. No, not too much. So the monster doesn't follow me out here, so I'm kind of confused. I'm like, am I supposed to go in there? There was obviously something I could touch. And I'm really, like centered on that thing off to the left. I'm like, it has to be something in the little girl world that I can change. So I'm trying all everything without getting stabbed. It doesn't work. I know it's like put something here. I press I like spas spastically press X when nothing happens. So I'm like, let's just leave. I'm trying the same thing over and over again. Now this time the tall boy follows me. So I'm gonna try to draw him away, hide and then come back down so he can't bother me. Leaving some guck on the door. I don't know what he's doing there, but kind of weird. And then uh, my inventory's finally full, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm completely killing the mood playing in my inventory at this point, but whatever. And then I finally figure out how to select things in my inventory, which was extremely obvious. You just had to press X, which I never thought to do. So I started drinking some cola. We take a nice break from the from the demon chasing me, taking drinking some soda, eating some candy in the break room. I'm really glad I'm really glad the monster decided to wait. And then we just run by him. As simple as that. Run over here. We just did gave him the old uh, roundabout or whatever you call it. And now no one can bother us. Look at that. I'm still trying to figure out this puzzle, though. And he, and he followed me anyway, so that was completely a waste of my time. And now I'm, now I'm convinced that he has to be down there. Now he's just giving me a hard time and not following me. So this was kind of an infuriating part, but it's fine. I can manage. Now I can finally pick up that lockpick. So we got another lockpick. That's good. That'll be helpful, hopefully. Still convinced it's that cabinet. And then I finally figure it out. I'm like, wait, I turned on a light. What's this do? Just trying to draw this thing away. Come on, follow me, man. One thing I noticed is the dog doesn't age or seem to age with uh, Claire. So that goes into my theory that the dog is just another figment of her imagination. It's a ghost dog. And it's not really there. 
Look at it, it's the same size as it was before. So, I turned the first light on to yellow, and then I turned the second light on to yellow, and then they both turned off. So, as you can see, there's a, like, bad power or lower power button. It's really difficult with this thing chasing me, so I'm just, I'm like, get it out of here. Like, you're just annoying at this point. You're like, Dollar store slender man, come on, let's get out of here. Like, oh no, here it comes. Walking at a like a slow like a freaking walk in the park here. Now I'm pushing my luck. I'm like, I know he's on the other side of that door. I think I just got stabbed there. I got stabbed again. I'm like, let's bring him in here. This is a freaking closet, I can't get out. I'm like, let's right here. I get stabbed, and I'm dead. Game over. So now running back, just went in through the hole. I'm, I'm angry now. I'm like, I need to get this puzzle done. I'm done dealing with this guy, let's just do it. And luckily, it seems the uh, demon monster went away. And now, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm like, okay, we can increase power, decrease power. Let's mess with these two for it, but I can't. I'm like spamming X, nothing happens. The only one I can interact with is the third one from the right, which confuses me. But let's increase power again, but now we have red. We have a new color and it kicks me out of the menu. So I'm like, all right, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Okay, so I can interact with the fourth one. So I see it now. I'm like, okay, we're supposed to like do different colors or something. So yellow, white, red, and then what? White? Nope. Yellow. Nope. Let's just spam this. Get this over with. Somehow I messed it up anyway. You didn't see that though. So. It's not yellow. It's not white. Come on, Claire. You got this. Maybe it's green. Ooh. And then I just. And then I have to restart again, of course. But at least that the monster isn't chasing us, so that's good. And there we go! But it's back. The monster's back. We have to run. I don't even know what happened there. I tried to use the lockpick, but I didn't read the bottom because I thought the monster was chasing us. I think if I just gave Claire like enough time, I would have been able to open that door, but oh well. Hopefully I didn't break a lockpick. I don't know. Maybe I did. The monster's glitched into the wall. I don't know what he's doing over there, but... It's fine. Now he's gone. I'm like, alright. Maybe we're... Maybe we're in the clear, I don't know. So I hop out. I'm like, oh no, he found me. So I'm just running. Just sprinting through the hallways. This thing is just teleporting all over the place. I'm crawling through the walls. I can't even see what's going on. I was like, is he gone? No, he's right outside the vent or whatever I'm in. Get out. Oh, happy sun cola. Completely useless. So we have to crawl back. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I gonna drink it in the hallway? In the, um, freaking like, uh, in the, what the hell? Like the shafts where they burn the bodies. There's probably like ash of like, dead people in there, which is, like, that's, that's hardcore if Claire's just, like, crawling through that, she's coming out, she has, like, soot-covered face, as a little girl, she probably doesn't, like, realize it, she's like, oh, what's this coal dust, and it's, Claire, that's not coal dust, it's, uh, you know, people, she's, like, she's, like, rubbing it on her face, like, it's war paint, like, oh, god, Claire, but no, we're just, now she, her white clothes, still per, completely clean and white. Her cloak, well, I won't say that, but, um, this all must be happening in her head. There's no way her clothes are this clean. We have the, uh, Happy Bear channel on in the background. I'm losing my mind. The corners of the screen's growing dark. I can't see what's going on. I'm just running through random doors. 
that's mom's room up ahead. I'm like, sprint, just run for it. And I ran by it, and instead I went to the uh, saving station, which was good, because I had been playing for a while. Um, if you guys are still watching this, hopefully my post-commentary wasn't too unbearable. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Alright. Bye.